Hello everyone. Uh, now we shall start a uh, uh, problem on uh, isometric projection. So in this uh, we have a square prism, so which has been resting on a rectangular slab. As you can see here, we have a rectangular slab. Above that, a square prism is been placed. Okay. So myself, uh, Purna Chandra, Global Academy of Technology. So here, this is a problem. The square prism base uh, side 40 mm. Height 50 mm is placed centrally on a rectangular slab of side 100 mm into 60 mm. Rectangular slab is 100 mm into 60 mm. Okay. And the square prism is 40 mm width and 50 mm height. Okay. Since it is square, all sides are equal. So in rectangle, opposite sides are equal. Okay. Rectangular slab. So uh, the thickness of rectangular slab is 20 mm. So now we need to draw this in an isometric view. So first of all, we can draw the two-dimensional view if required. So we have rectangle of 100 by 60, and we have the square inside that centrally exactly placed. Okay, it is a top view. And in front view, if you watch from down, you can watch this rectangle. The thickness of this is 20, so height will be 20 for rectangular slab, and the square will be projected till here. And this height is 50. Okay, so now we need to draw the isometric sketch, which will be which will look like this. Okay, so first draw a projection line from here. Next, we shall start up drawing the rectangular prism. So here, right 20, right side is 100, left side is 60. So here, I can consider I am uh, drawing the sketch by watching from this direction. You can fix the direction which you are drawing. So, if you are drawing from this direction, this is right side and this is left side part. Okay, this will be a left side portion now, and this is our right side portion. Okay, so this is towards the right, and that is towards the left. So, this is the right side. And that will be left side. Okay. So here, <clears throat> right side and this is left side. So now, right side I need to go by 100 and left side by 60. Right side 100, left side 60, and height 20. So first select projection line, sorry, a visible line with a pink color I'm selecting for this rectangular prism. So I'll be starting from this point. Okay. So now right side I need to go by 100. So I need to count 10 boxes for 100. Okay. So from here, we shall start. So 10, 20, 30, 3 boxes. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So totally 10 boxes I need to draw. Left side is 60. So I need to count 6 boxes. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Six boxes and it is top. Then height given as 20. So go 10, 20 above. And then here also 10, 20. And then 10, 20. Okay. Then I can join this to this. And from here to here. Right. And again here, this is parallel to this 100. I need to draw. So 100 from here, so 10 boxes, and then from here, 6 boxes. So in this way, the rectangular slab is done. So here, you need to you can confirm the angle. This should be 30 degree. And this also 30 degree. OK. Thirty degree. Then we are supposed to draw and join this. Okay. 
Okay. So this is how we can draw the rectangular slab. So now we are done rectangular slab. It is right side 100, left side 60, and height 20. <clears throat> if you want, I will show you the dimensions here. I will type the dimensions 100, left side, left side 60, and height 20. Okay. And here this is 100. This is how we are supposed to take dimensions. Okay. These dimensions I am just doing to make you understand how we are doing. Okay. So now here above this, I need to place the uh, square prism. So square prism of uh, 40 sides and height 50. Okay. So how to draw a square prism as we did last problem. So similarly also, first I need to locate the midpoint of this and then half of the square I need to take right side and project it. So first select a projection line and we need to find midpoint of this. So how to find midpoint of this? Very simple. So this is 60. So half of that 30 you can select and again 30 here. Okay. Again, one more here it is 60. Is 100 is there. 50 you can count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Midpoint of this you can join to midpoint of this line. So this is how we can find midpoint of this. Now in this, I need to, I need to uh, draw the square of sides 40. Okay. So right side 20 we can select. So I'll go with a visible line with a red color. So here right side. I can go by 10, 20, then downwards 10, 20, again 10, 20, 30, 40, again 10, 20, 30, 40, and then 40, and then 20. So this way we can create the square and we can delete this inside line which you have selected. So finally, I need this to be 40 and 40. Okay. So since it is a, a square prism, so I need to project it above with a height of 50 given. So select line with the visible line. So you can project the front edges here. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. You need to count and project it. So here 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Then from here 10, so 10, 20, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So this, this okay, so from here, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Fifty. Then we can join this to this, and again from here, project this again fifty, and then join this fifty. So in this way, so this is done. So this I have joined to here fifty. Okay. So now we can check out. I have rectangular slab, and I have square prism. So here inside the square prism the edges which is coming inside the square prism rectangular slab portions will be uh, not visible so we can trim this inside portions so where we have the rectangular slab portions that we can delete okay so this we can trim again So this you can project and adjust till this much it, it, it will be visible. 
So again, if you check out the inside, these two portions of a square prism will not be visible. So this can be kept in a hidden line or we can delete these two. So these two also can be trimmed. Okay, now if we check out, so we have rectangular slab 100 by 60 and I 20. And again, this square slab of uh, side width 40, 40 and height 50. So here you need to count and you need to project it. Right, don't need to know, you should not measure in scale. So you need to count the boxes and you need to do the problem. So this is how we can complete the problem. So this is how it has to be done. Okay. Next, similarly, we have the next problem. So this we have a, a rectangular slab, 100 by 80. So inside that, I need to create one square hole. Okay. Square hole has to be done inside that. So how we can do that? So first we shall draw the projection line. I will go with the projection line. Okay. Next first we shall, now we shall draw the rectangular slab here. So here it is 100 by 80. Okay. So here left side we taken 100, right side 80 means uh, uh, we have considering from this corner right now. Anyway, it can be done. So right side we're taking as uh, 80, left side I'm taking as 100. So with a visible line, I'll start projecting this. So from this point, from somewhere here, right side it is uh, 100, sorry, 80. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. 80 left side 100 it is so 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 it's coming to extreme end it's okay so then height given as here this height is equal to so 30 mm it is given here in front view it is 30 so i can go height 10 20 30 even here 10 20 30 Again from here, 10, 20, 30. And again, you can join back. So drawing rectangular slab, it's all or similar. Join this to this, then I need to again select 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Join this to this. Okay, now we have drawn. So I have taken this side as 80 mm and this as 100 mm. Okay, and the height I have taken as 30. So these are given values. So we have drawn the rectangular slab. So inside this rectangular slab, I need to create a hole, a pretty square hole. Okay, so to draw a square hole, I'll be selecting, first we need to find midpoint of this. So I'll go with projection line, find midpoint of this top square. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So 50 by 50, I can join. And this is a, for 40 by 40 and join this okay so we have drawn this so I have drawn the midpoint of this. I got midpoint. Now inside this, I need to create a square hole. Square hole means it will be projected downwards. As you can see here, it will go downwards. Square prism was coming up above the object, but square hole means it will go inside the object. So square is 40 mm side given. So this length is a uh, uh, 40 mm side. 
okay so now i need to create 40 mm square inside this so we shall go with a visible line as we did last problem same way half of 40 is 20 so from here i should go right side 20 10 20 i'll go with a red color so right side 20 10 20 and downwards 20 again 10 20 30 40 and then 10 20 30 40 again 40 and we can join this So we have joined this. So now I can delete this line inside. So first I have taken 20 from here, then 20, 40, 40, 40 width. So we need to count and create the boxes from center. So now we have the square uh, base ready. Now since it is, if it, if it was square prism, we can project it up. But now it is square hole. So I need to go for 30 wall depth is the uh, rectangular slab depth. It is 30 mm. So 30 mm we need to go downwards. So here, what I will do, I'll go with the visible line. So from here, I'll project 30 mm down. So 10, 20, 30 downwards. Similarly from here, also 10, 20, 30 down, downwards. Then from here, 30 so 10 20 30 again from here 10 20 30 i need to draw downwards then i need to join these lines okay then i need to join inside lines Like this. So now, if you check out here, the red lines. So these are the lines which we have drawn right now. So here we have the square hole. So top we have one square and bottom we have one more square. Okay. So now in this, which are the edges visible? So if you check out right now, the top square is clearly visible. And inside that only this square box is visible, small square box is visible. So other things are not visible. As you can see this sketch, so top square is visible. So inside this line and these two are visible other things are not visible because it is inside the object so what i need to do i need to trim the other edges so here i need to trim this i need to trim this i need to trim this should trim this trim this and then again i need to trim so this this and this so this way in this way you can do the problem so now if you check out so we have so rectangular slab above that we have the square hole of 40 mm okay so this square hole is so 40. so whole depth will be 30. so this is how we can do the problem so Okay, thank you.